Hey guys, what's up? So I'm finally back with another video. Uh, this is season six, episode 19. Um, now I haven't posted a video in just over a week. However, that doesn't mean I haven't been busy. I've built this bar. Now I'm gonna give you the tour of this bar and I'm gonna do things slightly differently. I'm gonna give you the tour of the bar and then where I've built something, I'm gonna show you how I did it. Like a, a mini tutorial, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, here's the entrance to the bar. It's at the side. On the same side as the waterfall here and the reason for that is I'm going to put a bridge going around over the waterfall and all lit up and eventually it won't be long till we are working in the middle of the lake with a nice little feature. But anyway, the tour of the bar, there it is, we're on the side. Now if we go in from the side here, actually let's just go around the side a bit further back, you can see a nice entrance. Or open space uh, there will be like a doorway here as well but let's just go round let's take a peek inside we've got some plant pots uh, here you can see I've added a corner chair this is still a work in progress by the way still lots to do uh, I'm just going to light the fire up so it's nice and warm in here so yeah I'm gonna add like a dartboard here or something uh, the idea came from Om. Uh, he told me how to do a nice little, nice looking dartboard, which I want to do. A corner chair. It has a foundation at the back, so it's nicely done. It's not finished. I need to tidy it all up. Then we've got the bar. The bar took a long time to do. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I didn't use tables. I used foundations because at the time the new update wasn't out, which lets you put these baskets onto the tables. Yeah, but yeah. I use the foundation for now. That's fine. Uh, if we go around the side here, look, we've got a gun behind the bar. Every self-respecting bar has a gun behind the bar. And also a mini axe. Looks cool. And it's it's quite quite cozy. I really like it. What do you think of this bar so far? Got a few seats here, well four to be precise. To service, he needs some skull armor on there. But yeah, I also put this here, look. Uh, a nice little corner fire, which we can sit around. Then eventually we're gonna go out onto here, and build the uh, middle bit, the middle feature of the lake. But it looks beautiful. Uh, the wall I started extending, it's gonna come all the way around. That looks fantastic. So yeah, the bar, work in progress, but looking good. So let's get on to how we did things uh let's start with the actual bar okay then so for the bar i started off uh with the initial rock wall just to, to guide me of where i want the bar at this stage it's very important to leave all the rocks ghosted so that they don't snap into each other and then i dragged uh three rows down as you can see following the lines of the floor underneath to get it perfectly spot on there we go you don't have to fill it like this, by the way. You can just do the outline, but I like to be uh, very thorough when I do these things. So there we go. That looks quite neat. Okay, so now I grabbed the foundation and I wanted a bit of overhang. So what I do is I just take it from edge to edge, as you can see. Come down, take it to the edge of the rock down here. Just got to move a little bit. Uh, right to the corner, look. And then take it out to this one and click E and there you go you've got a nice little overhang and it looks pretty good uh, it's a good shape plenty big enough for a bar okay so let's uh, fill her up and there's the initial bar not so hard after all is it looks pretty good but it needs decorating it needs lights it needs wood pillars it needs mannequins it needs uh, yeah a lot so let's grab, uh, where is it, a weapon rack. We're going to put this here for the gun. If we can get it high enough. Uh, done. So let's put the gun in. Uh, we need some lighting underneath to light up the gun area and of course behind the bar. So I'm going to put these uh, one at each edge first and then one smack bang in the middle to get it perfect like that. Good spacing, looks tidy. There we go, nicely done. What do you think so far? Uh, stick a couple of baskets on here. Get a bone basket, arrow basket and so on. 
Now, of course, in the latest update, you can put these on tables, by the way, guys. You can make a bite out of tables nice and easy. Uh, but this was done before the update. Regardless, it looks good. Anyway, uh, four um, chairs. Again, one on each outside first and then two in the middle. So there we go. We're going to put the last one in and they're not perfect. You always want to put them a little bit off center so they look used. Now for the pillars, it's just a custom wall this. I just press L, drag it over a little bit, click E and it will do one pillar instead of a wall. Important to get it nice and level. Fiddly stuff, but it's worth it. And that looks good. So far, as you can see, little Julius helping me out. You just saw him in the background there. Uh, we want some lights here. So again, start from the outsides. Uh, I'm going up to the rock wall just to get the right uh, levels so they're nice and straight. There we go. Now just a couple in the middle. So up to that rock wall, lock, lock up. Keep it nice and straight. Keep them all in line and it's it just looks better. So again, rock wall, lock up and place the fourth one done. There you go. How nice is that? All lit up, looking great. All it needs now is the mannequins. There we go. A couple of mannequins in there, a couple of bookshelves behind there and that's the bar. Pretty simple, not too difficult. Hope you enjoyed that and thanks little Julia for helping out collecting all the sticks because it was a lot. Anyway, now on to the corner seat. Okay guys, so to start off the corner bench, we're just going to take a layer of rocks and we're going to curve it around uh, toward the corner of the building here. Like so, trying to avoid it snapping in to the walls obviously. So don't do that please. Uh, just a little bit more. There we go. That looks pretty good. It's basic. Uh, but it's what we want there's plenty of room behind it for a foundation and so far so good we just need to fill out these ends so if we just grab uh, another rock wall just to tidy out this part there we go looks good uh, same for this end too another rock wall trying to avoid it snapping into the exterior walls is a nightmare but uh yeah, it's going pretty well. So there we go. There's the initial layout of the uh, corner bench. Now, of course, you get the chairs. We want to keep them level with the curved part of the wall. So we're just going to place them in uh, one at a time. We don't want them going too far back. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, do the same again here and just repeat until all chairs are done. Okay, there we go. Now a foundation. I wanted about as high, the same height, just a little bit higher actually than the rock uh, walls themselves. So we're just going to go from, we're going to follow the wall around on the outside to keep it nice and square. So here we go. Just plot that in there. Uh, follow the rock wall now. You've got to follow the curve exactly how it goes, which is kind of awkward because you only get 11 clicks with the foundation. So it's kind of hard, but... To get the perfect shape, you've got to do it in small increments like this. And the final one goes in now. I think, yeah, I've run out of clicks, uh, but that's no problem. I can always just redo that. So yeah, look, there's a little gap here at the end, but I'll redo that now. There we go. What do you think to that? Uh, looking good. It's kind of a blueprint mess at the moment, but as soon as it's all filled out, it will look nice. Let's grab some lights. We're going to put this one, I think, in the middle. There we go. Uh, let's put two more, one at each end. They just stick above the foundation too, so they give you that perfect lighting, which I really like. Looks good. And then the final one here, guys. That's it. All that's left to do now is to go and collect a crap ton of sticks, rabbit skins, <laughs> and a bit of wood. Thankfully, I have uh, little Julia helping me out, which is awesome. So a big thank you to her for helping me collect all the stuff. And there we go. It is done. Uh, next on the list, guys, the fireplace, which is actually harder than you would think to do. Okay, then to start off with, just grab a foundation here. Uh, nice and simple. Uh, Butted up to the wall. Keep it as low as possible. Don't want the fire too high. 
uh, strafe ac across. Um, if it goes out of shape like that, it will snap into uh, a nice straight line, so it's no problem. Bring it into the corner and done. Nice and simple. Uh, just fill it up. There we go. Add a fire. Build that up. And now it's just down to the edges, which I found extremely difficult with this. Here I'm snapping in some sticks, as you can see. I need to tidy up, uh, get rid of all the uh, iffy ones, uh, place it down. Now, next, what I found difficult was snapping a rock wall uh, dead on the edges. Um, if we put one in here, but on the right hand side over here, it was really difficult because it was coming away from the wall of the exterior wall which was a pain in the ass but anyway it's looking pretty good so we're going to snap the top piece on uh, do the same here and I guess all that's left is to collect the rocks uh, just finish off this little niggly bit really awkward but there we go okay all done looks good just that gap on the right hand side of it but I filled that in later it's not a big thing but what do you think so far? Looks pretty good inside here, doesn't it? Okay, so I think that pretty much concludes what I've done. I mean, there are other parts like the roof there, but that's quite obvious. You jump on the roof, you add a custom roof, and you bring it in and make it a, a small roof. I did that just to add a little bit of shape and to add a sort of crisscross effect. I will show you this now, uh, if we can get in. Uh, yeah, look, you can see there the way the roof crisscrosses over the bar uh, with the other roof. and that's a nice little effect it's neat it's in line with the bar and it looks good uh, this I reworked this I added an extra bit and I put it closer to the wall eventually it took me so long to get that right it was very awkward I had to start with a full-size wall at the back but it looks good and eventually look yeah you see how it looks it's just better uh, I also added um, this section here with deer head this is basically a for a sign i will add a sign on there maybe write brt club cobra or something on there in skulls at some later date but who knows but yeah this is the start of the bar this is not the finish there is a lot to do in here there's a lot to make it look uh, a lot more impressive uh, i did add this outside as you know also looks pretty neat uh, but next i think i'm going to work on like a bridge that goes all the way around and over the top of this waterfall it will link up to the main area here and I think that at night it will look spectacular because it's going to have a lot of lights but there's the bar it's small it does its job and it looks good uh, it fits in with the base I like it a lot let me know what you think of this so far you can see now the main house over there looking grand as always uh, this house on the right needs a bit more work but with the bridge everything and then the main feature in the middle it's coming together you can see there's three docks one over there one by the sauna and one over there it's going to link to something cool uh, i do have rabbit traps here as well guys this is how i've been farming my rabbits for uh, for my chairs all the chairs are needed as you can see they have been mating and multiplying and we have a whole heap of bunnies in the bus stop here and of course sticks gotta have lots of sticks when you uh breed bunnies because you have to keep using a stick to reset the traps over here which you can see it requires one stick and we have one right there which is very handy so yeah farming bunnies uh that's necessary and now for me i do need to build this wall and finish it all up get it to the right heights but she's looking good the base is looking fantastic but anyway, I'm going to finish up, as always, um, in this room. There's plenty of food here. I did have General Payne and Little Julia help me collecting all the sticks. Big thanks to those guys, because without them, this would have took me even longer than a week. I had so many sticks, nigh on a thousand sticks in total. It's just ridiculous. And it wasn't pleasant to do. But anyway, it's done. It looks good. So, yeah, all good. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's very short. I'll be back to regular sized videos soon. And yeah, nothing else to say. Don't forget, follow me on my Twitter. Hit the like button if you like the video. If you want to see more of this base, hit the subscribe button if you are new. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.